How do you think Isaac puts the music and the song first? Uh, one of the first things we we listen for, um, you know, when like looking for members of our band is that it's it's got to be about the song and the in the whole. And um, I mean, it's, you obviously have to be talented, but you have to be able to think of, um, as a part of a unit. It's a twelve-piece band, so if you have a if you have a bunch of people. Um, thinking too uh, selfishly musically it's uh it doesn't work very well <laughs> i mean it's it's really all chemistry but that just comes down to people that listen hard and people that are um intuitive um musically and and i got to say I, I find a lot of times that is um musicians that are steeped in uh in music from a young age or musical families i mean it's uh you 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 just learn that way you grow up that way um it's quite a few people in our band that grew up with music around them just from the drop. So um, it's funny, I didn't know until recently how far Isaac's uh, <laughs> music went back, but I, you, you could tell instantly that it wasn't, a, it wasn't a hobby he just took on at some point. <laughs> so, but yeah, you can feel it, it's in, the, it's in the blood. These last few residencies, we did a, six shows at the Warner Theater in DC, and then we're doing, this will be our fourth night here at the Ryman. I feel like we're, we're just really getting into the work now. I feel like um, the confidence level, I feel like he's asserting himself even more. The talent is, is there, but it's a big, big group and you have, to find your, uh, you have to find your place in it. And there were a few nights, I think the, I think the fifth out of the six shows in, uh, in DC, there was a night where uh, Falcon and Isaac, two drummers got into it and it was just incredible. I got chills on stage. You just you could feel a shift happen. Like I really felt like we were getting into a new musical space and a new chapter. And it's really kind of felt that way since. Um, so it's exciting. I mean, I, I love uh, I love that feeling where you don't know where the top or the bottom is, and you're you're still there's a lot of exploration right now. And really, we met in the studio. You know, during the lockdown, as it came down, and um, we recorded four records, and like so a lot of the first days we were together we were we were writing tunes and kind of the first connection musically happened on record so there's a lot there's a lot of that that we were able to capture which I'm pretty excited about too and then it'll be easy to see the evolution as it goes but um, yeah I mean and there's just something to I mean he's not 17 anymore but he's still young and hungry and there's there's something to having uh, that energy in the band too that's really important because I mean we've been at it a while but um, you, you try to think you don't get uh, cynical or jaded, or you know the road is long, but it's nice having, uh, it's nice having you know fresh energy and fresh ideas, and um, someone that's excited to play the Ryman for the first time or play these venues. You're like, oh yeah, this is incredible that we get to do this. You know, you, you try not to forget, but it's uh, it's nice to see it through uh, someone else's eyes sometimes. So that's been uh, that's rubbing off on everyone in the band. It's it's a good energy.